Sentence structure number forty. I have no idea. Examples. One, I had no idea that she was a thief. Two, he has no idea how to operate these machines. Three, I have no idea what time it is. Dialogue. Have you met the new student, Sally? Yes, she's a very nice girl. I kept asking her questions in class today, but she wouldn't respond. That's because she is hard of hearing. I had no idea she had a hearing problem. It's not too serious. You should make her sit in the front of the class so she can hear you better. Sentence structure number forty-one. I have got to. Examples. One, I've got to go. Two. I've got to buy something to drink. Three. I have got to mail some cards to my friends. Four. I've got to apologize for troubling you so much. Five. You've got to try this dish. It's tasty. Dialogue. How many candy bars have you eaten today? I think I've eaten ten so far. That's too much. You've got to stop eating so much. Why? Because if you eat too much candy, you'll rot your teeth. You're right. I've got to stop eating so many sweets. Sentence structure number forty-two, as, as possible. Examples. One, I'll be back as soon as possible. Two, I'll work as hard as I can. Three, try to be as careful as possible. Four, come as quickly as possible. Five, run as fast as you can. Dialogue. I hope you'll do better this semester. I was disappointed in your grades last year. Don't worry, Dad. I'll study as hard as I can. I hope so. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll help you as much as possible. Thanks, Dad. Your education is important for your future. I know. I'll work as hard as I can. Sentence structure number forty-three. I'll let you know. Examples. One. I'll let you know when I'm leaving for Beijing. Two. I'll let you know if I can make it for dinner. Three. I'll let you know if I get bored. Four, I'll let you know when I get hungry. Dialogue. Are you coming to dinner tonight? I don't know. I have to work late tonight. When will you know for sure? I'll let you know this afternoon if I can make it for dinner tonight. What time this afternoon? I'll give you a call around three. Sentence structure number forty-four. I'd be grateful. Examples. One, I'd be grateful for your help. Two, I'd be grateful if you'd be quiet. Three, I'd be grateful if you'd give me a hand. Four, I'd be grateful if you'd take care of my baby. Five, I'd be grateful if you danced with me. Dialogue. How do you like the music at this dance club? It's great. I love dancing. Me too. You know, I'd be grateful if you'd dance with me. Sure, but first you have to do me a favor. What's that? Well, I'd be grateful if you'd stop stepping on my foot. Sentence structure number forty-five. I'm afraid. Examples. One. I'm afraid you didn't quite get his meaning. Two. Could I speak to Elizabeth, please? I'm afraid she is not in at this moment. Three. I'm afraid we are going to be late. Four. I'm afraid I can't make it. Dialogue. Okay, stop right there, you thief! Don't move. Don't shoot. Put your hands over your head and don't make any sudden moves. Look, officer! I'm afraid you have the wrong person. I'm the bank manager, not the thief. Are you sure? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've made a terrible mistake. Well, you still have a chance to get your man. I saw somebody carrying a bag full of money running that way. Sentence structure number forty-six. I'm calling to. Examples. One, I'm calling to say goodbye to you. Two, I'm calling to tell you that the concert begins at seven o'clock. Three, I'm calling to book two tickets for tonight's film. Four, I'm calling to warn you of the coming storm. Dialogue. Hello. Hello, is this Peter? Yes. Hello, Coach. I'm calling to remind you that we have practice tomorrow. What time does it begin? We'll start at six a.m., so don't be late. Sentence structure number forty-seven. I'm looking forward to. Examples. One. I'm looking forward to working with you. Two. I'm looking forward to coming to China again. Three. I'm really looking forward to the holidays. Dialogue. Aunt Jane, I hope you'll be home next Sunday. I'd like you to meet my fiance. I'm looking forward to meeting her. What's her name again? Rachel. That's such a lovely name. How long have you known each other? About two years now. I am looking forward to attending your wedding soon. Sentence structure number forty-eight. I'm not really happy with. Examples. One, I'm not really happy with their performance. Two, I'm not really happy with your behavior. Three, I'm not really happy with your present situation. Four, I'm not really happy with their service. Five, I'm not really happy with my life. Dialogue. I've been so depressed lately. Why? What's the matter? I'm getting older, and I'm not happy with the way my life is going. What's so bad about it? I just go from girlfriend to girlfriend, and I'm never happy or satisfied. I think you're thinking too much about yourself. You need to concentrate on helping others. Sentence structure number forty-nine. I'm thinking about. Examples. One, I'm thinking about moving to a new house. Two, I'm thinking about taking a science course. Three, I'm thinking about getting a divorce. Dialogue. What are you going to have for breakfast? I'm thinking about having some eggs. That sounds good. Can you make some for me too? Sure. How many do you want? I think I'll have two eggs. Okay. Two eggs coming right up. Sentence structure number fifty. I really go for. Examples. One, I really go for Beethoven. Two, I really go for this house. It's terrific. Three, she goes for tall and handsome men. Four, I don't go much for modernism. Dialogue. Hey, I'm hungry. How about you? Yeah, I can really go for some Chinese food right now. That's a great idea. Let's go to a Chinese restaurant right now. Okay, it's my treat. Are you sure? Yeah, you can pay next time. Sentence structure number fifty-one. It is that. Examples. One. It was Jack who broke the window when we were playing football. Two. It is Jane that I want to marry. Three. It was here in the supermarket that he met his first love. Dialogue. Who ate all the cookies? I think it was the dog that ate them. Are you sure? It's possible. I think it was you who ate all the cookies, but you're trying to cover it up. Sentence structure number fifty-two. It's too bad that. Examples. One, it's too bad that we lost the match. Two, it's too bad that we have to cancel the get together. Three, it's too bad that you can't come. Four, 
It's too bad. Five. It's too bad that the rain spoiled our picnic. Dialogue. What happened to Steve? I haven't seen him at work for a long time. He was fired because of his poor work performance. It's too bad he's gone. He had such a good sense of humor. Yes, but he also had a serious drinking problem, which affected his work. I didn't know that. Yeah, he had such potential too. It's too bad. Sentence structure number fifty-three. It's my fault for. Examples. One. It's my fault we missed the bus. Two. It's my fault you didn't get paid on time. Three. It's my fault we lost the game. Dialogue. I can't find my car keys. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I accidentally locked them in the car last night when I came home. Well, at least they're not lost. That's true. But how are you going to get them out? I have another set of keys tied under the car. That was smart thinking. Sentence structure number fifty-four. It's not that, but. Examples. One, it's not that I don't like the car, but I think it's too expensive. Two, it's not that I am unwilling to help you, but I'm tied up with extra work these days. Three, it's not that he doesn't need your help, but he thinks it will be an inconvenience to you. Four, a mountain is not famous because it is high, but because it has some spirit dwelling in it. Dialogue. You have to finish your dinner before you leave the table. But mom, I can't eat any more. I'm stuffed. What's the matter? It doesn't taste good. It's not that I don't like your cooking, but I ate some cookies before we had dinner. And now you don't have an appetite. You know you're not supposed to have any snacks before dinner. Sorry, mom. I promise I'll try and finish eating everything. Sentence structure number fifty-five. It's on the tip of my tongue. Examples. One, it's on the tip of my tongue. Let me see. Two. His address is on the tip of my tongue. Wait a minute. Three, the question she wanted to ask was on the tip of her tongue. Dialogue. Did you see the new employee in our company? Yeah. Do you know her name? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Well, let's just ask the manager. I've got a better idea. Let's just ask her instead. Sentence structure number fifty-six. It said that. Examples. One. It is said that he is quite a handsome young man. Two. It said that a new president will be appointed. Three. It should be pointed out that your proposals are theoretically correct, but practically impossible. Four, it has been proven that your method is the best. Five, it will be noted that what they have done to him is wrong. Dialogue. So you have come to beg for the life of your son. Yes, your honor. And why do you think I should pardon him? It is said that you are a just but merciful man. Mercy is given to those who show mercy. But your honor, he's my son, my own flesh and blood. He may be your own flesh and blood, but he's a cold-blooded murderer. Sentence structure number fifty-seven. It's up to. Examples. One. Do you want to eat a Western or Chinese meal? It's up to you. Two. It's up to us to help those in need. Three. It's not up to you to tell me how to do my job. Dialogue. I'm looking forward to our son's graduation this weekend. Yes, so am I. But what will he do after graduation? He really needs to go to college. Well, dear, we can't force him to go to college. It's up to him. I know that. But he has to learn to be independent. He can't just keep living at home. You're right. I'll talk to him about getting a job. Maybe he can work at my store. That's up to you, dear. You just have to make sure that he does his work and doesn't loaf around.
Sentence structure number 58. It's your turn. Examples 1. It's your turn to tell a story. 2. It's your turn to cook. 3. It's your turn to sweep the floor. 4. It's your turn to give a presentation. 5. It's your turn to perform. Dialogue I have been washing the dishes for over a week now. Well, I think you are very good at doing the dishes, so maybe you should do them for another week. No, we made an agreement that we would take turns doing the dishes. Now it's your turn to do them. Okay, I'll do them. But I'll warn you, I don't think I can do them as well as you. That's okay. I'll give you plenty of chances to practice until you get really good at it. I knew you would say something like that. Sentence structure number 59. It may surprise you, but. Examples 1. It may surprise you, but I paid off all the debts in a year. 2. It may surprise you, but Meggie refused my proposal. 3. It may surprise you, but I bought all these books for 20 yuan. 4. It may surprise you, but he's just been promoted to manager. 5. It may surprise you, but he was once in prison. Dialogue How come you never go to McDonald's? This may surprise you, but I'm a vegetarian. So you don't eat any meat? That's right, no meat or dairy products. Why dairy products? Because they come from animals.